What's going on guys? So today's video, we're gonna be doing a review of Prospector's Diamond Pomade. Let's get into it. Before we get into it guys, if you have not yet, be sure to check out the channel and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, that way you don't miss any of my future content. Also hit that like button because it really helps me out with the algorithms and I would greatly appreciate it. And shoot me a follow on Instagram, at Adam's Hair Stuff. Alright guys, so let's get into this review here. So today, again, is going to be Prospector's Diamond Pomade, okay? Now, the first time I heard about Prospector's Pomade was quite a long time ago. I think we got a sample in the barber shop a while ago. And I did try to do some research about their brand or the company, and I wasn't able to find too, too much stuff on their about page. But the gist of it is I know that they have been in the game for quite a bit now. They have been around for a while because I remember getting some samples in the barbershop uh, a long time ago. So I know they've been around. I know a couple barbershops that do sell them. They have various products now. You know, they, they're all water soluble stuff. I think they do have a, an oil base. They have some aftershave, some, some merch and things like that. So uh, if you're interested in checking them out, I'd, I'd recommend checking them out on the website uh, if you wanna know more about them and just get a feel for what their brand has to offer. But today, like I said, we are gonna be focusing on their diamond pomade here, okay? And what the diamond pomade boasts here is it boasts a medium hold with a high shine, but in a water soluble formula. Now, some of the other properties that this pomade offers or that they they say that this pomade offers is it offers a creamy consistency with a very pliable hold and it's something that they say is also very easy to apply and use in the hair. One of the main things that I noticed that was prominent in their marketing or in their website is the fact that they use hemp oil in all of their products. They recognize it as their benchmark ingredient in all of their pomades. Now I have used a couple of the products and their other pomade, the Gold Tin, uh, I know does have the hemp oil in it as well. So that's just something that they're out there. It's something that they use in their marketing is the hemp oil is something that is unique to them. So now that we touched on that, let's take a closer look at the overall packaging of this pomade. All right, so here it is up close, guys. This is the Prospector's Diamond Pomade. Now it does come in this box with the instructions, labeling, ingredients, that kind of thing on the back. And this kind of like, like turquoise, light, light like blue or light green color i'm not too sure what you would call this color but i do like the packaging i think it looks great i love this kind of color and i know the the little box that it comes in gives it more of like a kind of premium kind of product feel when you are looking at it and you're kind of you know playing with it in your hands you pick up the box and it does offer that that kind of premium feel which i do like so it comes in this box and I think it's a, a very attractive packaging in the box. Now here it is out of the box, guys. So this is an aluminum or steel tin. I believe it's aluminum because it is a water soluble product. Uh, so same color as the, as the box that it came in. And what I like about this packaging, I think it's very, very catching to the eye. I love the embroidering kind of, kind of thing going on here around the edges. It's kind of like a silver. It's a silver with that, that like light green or turquoise kind of color with, with, the, with the, the lettering being that like dark navy blue color. And I think it's a very attractive packaging, guys. I think uh, the packaging is super cool. Honestly, the tins remind me of, of Ruzel's uh, pomade. So um, I, I do like the packaging on this one. I think they did a good job. And uh, I can't say enough good things about the packaging. Very attractive packaging. Now on this packaging, it does say here that it has all natural hemp oil, Supreme Luster No Flakes Diamond established in 1849, okay? So I don't believe that this product was really established in 1849. Prospecting, which I think they refer to with like the, the prospecting for gold and that kind of thing, which I got the impression that their gold or benchmark ingredient was the hemp oil they prospected. Basically they use that as a term I think for research and development and what in their research and development, they found this hemp oil that was a, a very nice product for hair products and healthy for the hair and that thing. So hence prospectors. And you know, I think it's a cool little gimmick. I, I like how they, they use that in their brand and their packaging, the cool little label. So yeah, you know, if, if that's something that you like, I think this brand would be great for you. Now let's take a look at the scent guys and see what's going on with that. So 
Upon doing research on this, I did not find too much about exactly what the scent is. All it says on the packaging is that it is a sweet scent, okay? I did not see anything about the, the base notes, top notes, that kind of thing about the scents, but it does say it is a sweet scent. And upon opening this up and smelling this, it is definitely a sweet kind of scent, guys. Now, what I get from it is more, if I had to compare it to anything, more of like a pina colada kind of thing. Um, I think tropical, that that kind of aspect when I smell this this pomade, I would say it's not very a very super strong scent, but it's also, it's not too faint at all. I would say, for me, this is probably about a 7 out of 10 as far as the scent goes. But again, I am not a guy who likes super sweet scents in my products or in anything in general. So uh, keep that in mind. If you do like the sweeter kind of scents on, on your products, you probably will like this one, especially if you like the more tropical kind of summery sense to me is what this is giving me the vibe of. Is that pina colada, really sweet kind of scent. Uh, not a bad scent at all, and I think you know it does just uh, justice for for a hair product. Nothing that's going to to you know be too off-putting, even for a guy like me who doesn't like sweet scents. I'll still wear this in my hair. Now, I will say it might clash a little bit with some colognes, depending on how it performs throughout the day and stuff. I noticed. You can smell it just a little bit throughout the day. I don't think it's gonna to clash too, too much with colognes and, and, and perfumes or anything like that. So uh, if that's important to you, just keep that in mind. But again, scent, not a bad one. Uh, and if you do like the sweeter scents, this will be right up your alley. Now let's take a look at what's inside the jar here. Now upon opening this stuff up, guys, you do see we do have this white, shiny kind of product, okay? Now this is a water-soluble formula. You can see that there is some sheen to it and it does look like it does have that creamy kind of texture in the jar. Definitely a water soluble product, like I said, you can tell. Um, so that is what we are gonna be looking at inside the jar. Now upon scooping this stuff out, it is super lightweight, it feels like, okay? If I had to compare it to anything here, uh, it honestly kind of feels like coconut oil. Uh, you know, when before, like if you've ever felt coconut oil when it's not, melted down when it's pretty solidified that is kind of what this reminds me of is like a, a creamier coconut oil or something like that so getting this stuff out of the jar you literally don't have to even apply any any pressure to it it's definitely more it's definitely like a petroleum kind of feel to it that's what i would say it reminds me of is like a light petroleum so scooping this stuff out is very easy to get out of the jar all right so let's get into putting this stuff in the hair and see and how it performs now today the style that we are going to be going for is going to be just a basic slicked up pompadour. Uh, I did blow dry my hair. So we're starting off with dry, blow dried hair here. Now, uh, you know, if you're using this in damp hair, I think you will get a different, a different hold in the product. And I also believe you'll have a little bit different of an application in this product as well. So most of my stuff, if you're interested on how I view these products and stuff, there will be a link up here if you want to check out my review template to fully understand what I'm talking about, but let's get this stuff in the hair and see how it performs. So like I said, scooping this stuff out guys is super easy and very creamy. It's like putting your hand, your finger in some petroleum jelly. Okay, so super light and this stuff boasts that high shine. So that is the main purpose of this is the high shine water soluble formula. And we are going to put it in the hands. And just like a petroleum jelly, dude, this stuff just breaks down super easy and you can see the shine there. So we're gonna be applying this to my blow dried hair. And as you would expect for this stuff going in, it is very, very easy and smooth going in, okay? So application on this is going to be super easy for you guys. It is, it is smooth as butter going in the hair here. Now, again, if you're using this in damp hair, uh, you're probably gonna get an easy, even easier application if that's even possible with this, with how light this stuff feels. Um, I do notice that it does feel like it's kind of greasy. Uh, so in my hair, again, we're using blow dried hair. I'm gonna be using a couple scoops here. And I can definitely tell that it does offer a pretty high shine off the get go. If you're using this in damp hair, it's probably gonna look even even shinier off of that high sheen. And for me putting this stuff in, it feels like it is actually a very light hold for me personally. Um, I would not say that this is a medium hold. Um, 
for thicker hair textures. It might be able to do some medium uh, holding power for if you have like a very fine thin hair texture, but for mine, I do not see this product actually holding my hair down for me if I am trying to do a slicked up style with damp hair and that kind of thing. Definitely would be great if you have curly hair and you just want something that's gonna offer a lot of shine and give you a light hold. Uh, but putting this stuff in, it's definitely very light going in. Now, let's comb through the product here. So, combing this stuff in, guys, again, it's just, there's no tug and pull whatsoever. It's literally, what I get the vibe of with this, it, it, it's basically like a light holding oil, oil based pomade. That is what I get out of this. It's, it's, it's a great substitute, I would say, if you're looking for a light hold. It kind of feels like an uh, oil based, a light oil based pomade. So I like that because I do like oil based pomades. Uh, they're my favorite. I love light holds. So I think this stuff, if you're looking for that kind of thing, this will be great for you. And the shine on it, I think it boasts a very nice shine. Uh, I would say it is, it's not a super high sheen after it kind of settles in into the hair. Definitely gives you some shine though. Uh, and I do like how this stuff feels in blow-dried hair. I think uh, if, you, if you do the blow-drying right and you get this shape down to where you want, definitely a good product for a lighter hold with a high shine. And, you know, it, it, it just feels really good in the hair for, for that lighter kind of feel in it. Um, I would say it does feel that, like, like greasy void for me for some reason. So uh, the closest thing I could compare it to would be again, like the petroleum jelly kind of thing, but think Royal Crown, think black and white, those oil based pomades. That's kind of what this kind of gives me the, the, the vibe of, but in a water soluble formula, which is great because there's not too much on the market that is like that. And uh, I think it has its place. So if you're looking for that, I would say that this is a good one to uh, maybe look into. Uh, Combing the stuff in again is just, it's super easy and I think it's very user friendly. Uh, especially if you're using this with blow dried hair, I think it'd be a great option for you if you're looking for that high shine, light hold kind of pomade. That's just kind of give you a little bit of something in the hair. Now, it's not sticky at all. Uh, I don't find this to be super sticky. Now, I've just kind of combed this stuff in and, and working with it because I'm noticing a little bit that once it's kind of setting in here, since it is a water soluble formula, um, it's not really hardening, hardening up, but it's definitely kind of more stiff in the hair now. But, you know, upon looking at these ingredients here, let's take a look. So upon the, and looking in the ingredients here, guys, so there is some stuff in here that's gonna boast a little bit of the hold. Now there is that petroleum in here. And like I said, the hemp seed oil, there is beeswax, and there is some, uh, Cannabis seed, oil, cannabis seed oil, there's Satara 25 in it, which is gonna give it some hold as well. So this is basically gonna give you most of the hold from the beeswax, which it is lower in the ingredients list. So that probably means that the concentration of beeswax in this is not too, too much, especially since it's right before an oil in the product. And the, mainly the, the Satara uh, 25 and the, and the beeswax, I think is where you get most of your hold from this. So it's not gonna give you that super, super hard, hard hold in the hair. I don't see any fixatives in it as well. So this stuff shouldn't harden up at all in your hair. Uh, it doesn't have a PVP or, or a, uh, a VPVA copolymer, no polymers or nothing in it. So it's not gonna harden up too, too much in the hair at all, if I say it, uh, if any. It does also say here in the, in the ingredients that uh, it is recomb, you can recomb it throughout the day and simply reset the pomade with a small amount of water. So uh, I did notice that upon using this the first couple times that it does, again, it doesn't harden too much, so you can recomb it if you like. Uh, but upon recombing it, I did notice that it did lose a little bit of the sheen in it. So if you want to reset it to have that more sheen, that more shine in it in the beginning like you're applying it, you gotta use a little bit of water. Wet combing is really great for that but if you're using it in blow-dried hair, keep in mind, you probably will bring out the curl in your hair if you do that. So taking a closer look here at the hairstyle, guys, this is what we're coming up with here. So again, just a more slicked up OG pomp, high and tight. Got a little bit, a couple flyaways here. Not a big deal. Now I am very happy with the style that I ended up achieving today with this product. 
I think it works great for this kind of look. High shine, light, lighter hold, especially with blow dried hair. I think that this stuff is phenomenal, guys. So if you're interested in checking out something like this, I would highly recommend the Prospector's Diamond Pomade. Now, before we wrap this video up, guys, let's touch on a few other things here. So let's talk about price of this stuff. So on their website, they do offer this in three different sizes. We have a four ounce jar or tin, which is what this one is for $16. They offer a 1.3 ounce, so a travel size for $9. And they offer the big boy, the 14 ounce for $38. And this stuff is also available on Amazon, guys. So there will be a link in the description to that for an Amazon link to my store if you're wanting to pick this stuff up. So final thoughts on this one, guys. I do like the Prospector's Diamond Pomade. Now I have used their other products, uh, their, their OG Pomade, the, the Gold Tin. And I've used that one. And, you know, I wasn't the biggest fan of that one. For me personally, though, the, the Diamond one, I think, is a really good product if you're looking for something like this, okay? I think it has its place because there's not too many water soluble products out there like this, okay? Uh, that light hold, high shine, and something that kind of feels like, like, a, like, a, like a petroleum based, oil based pommy, uh, which I think is great and it has its place. And I think that uh, this is one that I will continue to use in the hair if I'm looking for those kind of aspects out of a product because there's not many out there that do offer that. And in the blow dried hair, this stuff works very well for that kind of thing, for the higher shine. Now, if I have like a, a more fancy or a wedding or something like that, that I need to attend, I think a high shine product works great for those kind of events and stuff. If you're trying to tie in that look all together with the suit and you're looking nice and sharp and then you add in a nice high shine uh, product in the hair that gives you that, you know, just, just glowing look. I think that this is going to be great for that. So final thoughts on this. I like it. I think it's good. And I would highly recommend actually checking this one out, guys. Surprised by how much I actually do like this one. So Prospector's good job on the diamond pomade. I do like it. Uh, it does say it's a medium hold. I believe it's more of a light hold. And the scent for me is, you know, it's it. I can take it or leave it, but it's also not off-putting. So, uh, you know, one that I will actually keep in the rotation, guys. So, prospectors, hats off to you for this one. But that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what do you think of Prospectors Diamond Pomade if you have used this. Also, if you have any questions, feedback, anything like that, leave a comment down below. And like I stated, guys, there will be a link in the description to the Amazon link to this product. Now, with that being said, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if you do use those links in the description and you purchase from those, those links, I do get a kickback. Now, that does not raise the price to you in any way on the product. It's just a way for me to be compensated for promoting these products. Speaking of products, guys, if you're interested in my own personal brand, which is Adam's Hair Stuff, we have Totem and Shapeshifter Clay Pomade two water soluble products. If you're interested in that, there will be a link in the description as well in the top end comment for you to check those out if you are interested. Again, thanks for checking this one out, guys. Stay fresh because you deserve the best and we will see you guys next time. Take it easy.